working. Hello, and welcome to my brand new kitchen nook corner thingamajig. This is a brand new corner of my apartment that I've decorated. It's in my kitchen. This is where I have my morning coffee now, where I eat breakfast, where I like sit and read. I have this cute little like space heater here that keeps me warm because it's pretty cold on LA nights these days. And I don't mean just like chill, like actually cold, like freezing temperatures because global warming is real. Today's segment is an RT video. For those of you guys who don't know what an RT is, it is where I make art, drink tea, and just chat about my life and things that I'm thinking about and talk about things that you guys want me to talk about. Today I am not drinking tea, I'm drinking coffee. But in a way, what defines tea? Something that you soak water in and coffee grounds are soaked in water to make coffee so in a way it's tea. I haven't had my morning coffee yet, I just want coffee. Fight me! I'm also still in my PJs but they're cute anyway so it doesn't really matter. <laughs> Before I get into today's video, I'm very pleased to announce that this video is sponsored by NBC's brand new TV show, Rise. This show is super exciting. It's by the same producers as Friday Night Lights and Hamilton. So, jeesh. And NBC let humble little me see the first episode and I loved it. Basically, this whole entire show is centered around a working class high school's drama department and the whole class is run by this super passionate teacher and family man who totally changes the students' lives and like galvanizes the whole town. As y'all know I'm from a small town and growing up I always heard that big things don't happen to kids from small towns. When I was in high school everybody knew that I made videos online and everyone knew that I wanted to pursue a career in music and the students were just terrible to me. They were so mean. They would pick on me endlessly. I've been told on many occasions that I'd never even make it out of the town. They'd even play my songs in the hallways during passing period just to embarrass me and just to like make fun of things that I was passionate about. They would do every Everything in their power to try to convince me that I wasn't capable of becoming an artist. Many times it felt like the whole entire town was just laughing at me, like, you really think you can do this? But in that town, there were two people who always believed in me no matter what, and those two people were my art teachers. They would watch all of my videos and would listen to all of my songs in the car. They were always there to nurture my dreams. Even when I didn't believe in myself, they believed in me, and if it wasn't for them, I wouldn't have had the courage to pursue an artistic career. If it weren't for them, I don't think I'd even have ever made it out of that tiny Texan town. But alas, I did, and I live in LA, and I have my own apartment. <laughs> the show really reminds me of my art teachers. Like the teacher in the show, they always taught me to dare to dream. The cast is super diverse, and I think that anybody can relate to the themes of the show. You can watch the series premiere on March 13th at 10 to 9 central on NBC, and if you want any more information, you can click on the link in the description below. Thank you, NBC, for sponsoring this video and for letting me tell my little story. For my RT today, I kind of wanted to talk a little bit about my life and how I pursued an artistic career. Today, I am just sketching some. I drew this dude. Do you see him? He has clips in his hair. I'm just kind of like sketching today because I just finished something like not that long ago. And so I'm just kind of like brainstorming slash sketching. One day, I kind of want to release like a little booklet of all my little sketches that I do just because I think it'd be really fun. I get a lot of questions about how I found the courage to actually pursue an artistic career. I know a lot of you guys are kind of at this point in your life where you know that you should be going to college and you should be pursuing some kind of business degree or something that you're not passionate about. It's a really hard thing to actually pursue because it's so risky. And like I said earlier, it's almost as if the whole world just laughs at you when you tell them that you want to become an artist. When I was in high school, people really didn't believe in me, except for my two art teachers and it's kind of hard because you know that it's everyone's expectation that you're not actually gonna succeed. I truly truly don't believe that I would have pursued a career in the arts if I hadn't already been working at it for like nine years. I've been making videos since I was nine years old, so I put so much effort into cultivating the things that I loved that I felt like if I didn't do it, it'd be such a waste. Like, I've been doing this for so long. Why would I just throw it all away? That was one of the things that just kept me ignoring what everyone was saying. Everyone always told me, oh, Conan, you gotta have a backup plan. You gotta have this and that. And yeah, it's smart. It's always smart to have a backup plan, but 
I knew what I wanted to do and any fears that I wasn't gonna be able to succeed just diminished the second I realized how hard I've been working at this and, and how people don't know how much work has gone into the things that I love. People often write off artists as these kids are just like doodling in their sketchbooks. It's never the case. Adults love to totally just discredit kids work because they don't think that it's serious or don't think that it's gonna lead to a career but you never know until you try. If you tell a kid that they're not gonna be successful and they don't pursue it then they're not gonna be successful because you're not giving them the chance to try. It's a scary scary thing for sure and everyone who's deciding what they want to do in college right now, my heart goes out to you because it's a confusing time. A lot of people ask me why I didn't go to art school and my clear answer is after doing art in high school for four years, like going to the art classes and doing the competitions and everything, I really grew to just loathe the process of like being told what to make and then making it and like doing well but like who cares I didn't enjoy the process at all I didn't get to draw something that I wanted to draw so what's the point even I knew that music was a better creative outlet for me and I knew that I was gonna hate making art if I pursued it as a career so I wanted to leave like drawing as something that I do on my free time <laughs> and music is more like a career thing just because I felt like it was a better representation of who I am. It's so hard to trust yourself and I know that but eventually you just have to take a hold of your own life and say if this is what I really want to do then you have to do it because I knew that the thought of missing out on some career that I really wanted to have would be so much more painful than pursuing it and then potentially being very poor and having nothing. I knew that if I was like 45 and like had a business degree and was working at a company and had like children but looked back on my life and didn't pursue any of the things I was really passionate about, I knew that I would hate that so much more than going to college, pursuing art, and then being poor. <laughs> if that's not the case for you, then maybe you shouldn't pursue a career in art. Because for some people, and I totally understand it, art is this very creative thing, and it's nice to have it as like an outlet, not a work source. Because once it becomes work, you don't really get that much creative freedom. I have to focus, I'm drawing like a curl right now. I'm drawing a person, not any person in particular, uh, just a face that my brain has come up with. Someone told me that when you draw like random faces, your brain like subconsciously selects a person to draw, but you just don't know that. Someone also told me that everyone in your dream you've seen before in real life. Like your brain can't just make up a person. I don't know if that's true, but I'd like to think it's true because that's super amazing. I put pins in his hair because I saw this really adorable photo of some dude backstage at a, just like, I stopped mid-sentence to drink coffee. <laughs> backstage at a photo shoot or some kind of like runway and he was like getting his makeup done they were like spraying water on him and he had these like cute little pins in his hair and it just kind of blew my mind that there's the cutest bird on my tree outside right now oh my gosh i wonder if i can show y'all please don't move 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 hello oh bye I'm so sidetracked. That's how RT always goes. What was I talking about? Helicopter? I'm just a little boy, don't take me. My apartment always like shakes when a plane goes by. Models. It always blows my mind that the pinnacles of like masculinity and men and like what everyone sees when they go outside and like what the media projects as like a man in reality does all of the things that men aren't allowed to do. Like, get their hair done, and get facials, and like, get mani-pedis, and get their makeup done. Like, it's just so ironic. Isn't that ironic? That shouldn't be the case. Since male models, the like, pinnacle of what a man should be, do it, then shouldn't all men do it? I don't know. The world is a silly place. Ever since I made that girly boy video of me painting my nails, I've been thinking a lot more about the juxtaposition of like, what reality is, and what we perceive it as. I've just been thinking a lot about the extent that we go through to push sexist ideals on people. There are so many things that we do subconsciously and we don't even notice. The other day I was sitting at dinner with my friends. We were talking about a date that my friend had just gone on and she proposed the question like, who do you think should have paid in this situation? And I go, well, of course the guy. And she was like, why though? I asked him on the date. And I was like, you're right. Like that's stupid. <laughs> like if you asked the person on the date, 
questions you pick because you're the one who's like taking him out. And I was like, wow, I'm just like a hidden sexist and I don't know it. It's really got me thinking. There's this photo of me. That's one of my favorite photos in the whole entire world. I love it so much. And it's me standing in this like slip dress that's like light pink and I'm wearing these light pink shoes with socks and these big Chanel glasses that my friend Hannah had. Basically my friend Hannah was moving out of her room and I was helping her pack, but I wasn't really helping. I was just putting everything on and like walking around. Three of my other friends were there and we were just laughing so hard. I was like giving them a show. It was so much fun. It was the last day that I saw all of them before I moved to California, which is just a heartbreaking memory, but like I'm glad that we spent it laughing and not crying. But I remember having so much much fun in that slip dress and I remember having so much fun in those heels because in those heels I was like six foot one and it was the funniest thing. <laughs> it was the most fun I've had in so long and I was like I wish I could just wear a dress and like be silly and like not care but it doesn't cross my mind. I don't wake up in the morning thinking like I should wear a slip dress even though I loved it so much. So I've been thinking a lot more about like the juxtaposition of like male things and female things conceptually and so I'm drawing this dude with pins in his hair and I think I'm gonna draw my like legs from that photo in because I, my feet are like this <laughs> and like my little shoes are so cute. Hannah and I have the same shoe size as well so that was nice. <laughs> I'm gonna need to focus real quick. I'm actually super bad at proportion. It's one of the hardest things in drawing for sure. It's just such a challenge. It's so hard. Let's see if I can... <laughs> This photo kills me so much. It's so funny. There's like a whole set of them. There's one where I'm like wearing a cowboy hat. Oh, such a good memory. I've really been missing my hometown lately. My Spotify suggests my own song, Idle Town, to me all the time and it'll just catch me off guard because it's just like playing in like the radios of like other people's and then I'll just start playing and I'll just get shot in the face with a wave of nostalgia that I wasn't mentally prepared for. It happened this morning and I kid you not, my heart literally was hurting. I was like, ow! And I remembered all these memories, sitting on the football field with my friend Ashley, watching everyone do their band practice and like soccer practice on the field, and going out and eating ice cream and staring at the stars, and, and driving in the car on summer nights when it just rained. And since Texas is so hot, the nighttime is like a good like 60 degrees it's warm and everything's just like steaming but it's so cold and it's oh it's just such a nice i just miss it i miss my friends and i miss that time and i know it'll never come back but i'm so glad i have that song to like constantly encapsulate that memory i'm never gonna change that song no matter what any producers or anyone says i ain't gonna change that song i ain't i'm not gonna re-record it i'm not gonna do anything i don't want to i really don't want to just because it's so precious to me and I did it like all by myself in my room and like how do I ever duplicate that? I don't think I can. Knees are so weird. It's really hard to draw them. For anyone out there who doesn't really know if they should pursue a career in art, it's okay. You can take your time to decide. I was lucky enough to know exactly what I wanted to do since I was really young, so I had the opportunity to pursue that for a long time. But it's not like that for most people. I mean, all my friends that I know, they don't know what they want to do with their lives, and that's perfectly fine. That's what college is for. There's not that big of a rush, even though we live in a current time where everyone thinks that if they're not rich and successful, by the time they're 30 that they're gonna die. That's not the case. Don't worry. If anyone out there watching this right now is pursuing a career in art or is in art school and has any good advice to give to kids who don't really know if they want to pursue it and could give a little bit of a better insight to what it is to have a creative career, I'd love for you to put it down in the comments below to just help other people know. I have a creative career now. You know, I'm a songwriter and I make these videos and I even draw for my t-shirts and things like that. And I will say it is definitely one of the most rewarding things in my whole entire life. I put my career above everything because I love it. It's a little hard sometimes because there are times when I don't feel like creating because creativity hits. It's not just a thing you just constantly shove out there and I have to create anyways. And that's something that you have to keep in mind when pursuing a creative career. There are times when I don't wanna make art and I, when I don't wanna make a video and I don't wanna make a song, I don't wanna sing. That's not true, I always wanna sing. No one can get me to shut up. If you're pursuing a career in the 
arts know that it's a career in the arts which means that you do have to take into account the business of it what you guys don't see behind the scenes is I'm constantly in meetings with companies and it is a bit weird because I'm so used to just making art and now I make art that is gonna be sold to the masses and there are certain things that you have to take into perspective that you've never really realized before and it's odd to like go to these meetings and talk about these memories that you had because they're your memories but now they're gonna be everyone's memories there's just a few things that you have to need to think about I'm gonna go ahead and finish this up and once it's finished I'll show you guys the finished product it's just a sketch so I don't know why it would be finished anyways but you know we just gonna act like it's cooler than it actually is thank you so much for watching this video if you have any input on anything that I said in this video I would love to hear it um, and if there's anything that you really want me to talk about in the next RT video put it down there for me to see and I'll see you guys in a couple days with a brand new video. God bless and goodbye!